everybody, welcome to Three Minute Thursdays, your source of animal rights news and gossip packed into a short, sweet three minutes on everyone's favorite day. It's a Thursday. We're talking about that special moment that always gets me excited when you combine your interesting skills with the ability to outreach people and you mesh it all in with a pressure campaign. And interestingly, I, I, you, actually, you actually get results. Who would have thought that would have happened? All right, welcome to episode 152. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification, and let's not forget about these delightful places. Um, you can join the Patreon for as little as two bucks. As always, I don't keep that money. We give 100% of it away. If you want to give away about $2,200, something like that this month, join now, vote, in a couple days we're going to send the money on. All right, I'm going to make this short one. Maybe. I feel like I sometimes I'm like, I'm going to do a short one, like an original three minute when I had the little clock. Do people remember when I put the little timer thing there? Oh, those were the days. They weren't three minutes then either. But anyways, I wanted to talk about Farm Transparency Project. You might know these folks better as the people behind the movie Dominion and the Dominion movement. But I've always felt they were like a, a really great example of um, people that had a particular skill set and they used it to the best of their abilities. Additionally, I'm a big fan of figuring out how to do both pressure campaigns and vegan outreach together. You like that? Uh. Yep. If you've been following along, uh, you know that I don't think it's particularly helpful if we're just focusing on changing people one at a time. I just don't think it's a winning strategy. But instead, we should be figuring out how to do that outreach to individuals, but also uh, tying it in by putting direct pressure onto companies. And I think Farm Transparency Project um, are a great example of how you can combine specific campaigns with general vegan outreach and, and be quite successful at doing it. So I'm sure just about all of you have either seen or know about the movie Dominion. I mean, it, it's hard to imagine a more powerful outreach tool created in the animal rights world. But it's also part of a bigger picture, the Farm Transparency Project. And I've talked about them in the past, but they provide an incredible resource of thousands of photos and videos of animal use throughout Australia. It also has this map that like pinpoints the location um, of animal use, right? Farms, racetracks, laboratories, and, and you can click on each individual little pin and it includes addresses and photos and videos and documents of each uh, location. It's an exhaustive and, and incredibly impressive resource and I hope people are using it. Uh, if you want to be inspired by it or use it in your own activism, definitely check it out. But recently, Crystal Force, the writer, director, and editor of Dominion, and also the director of FTP, Farm Transparency Project, as well as a few other people, they set out once again to capture footage of the gas chambers in Australia that send countless pigs to their deaths. So Chris had been raided and charged for the footage he first shot in 2014 of these gas chambers, but he was headed back to get more footage nine years later. And by sneaking into like three farms and installing cameras, as well as hiding above the chamber, sometimes just like feet from pigs and employees, he was able to capture like some really horrific footage. Footage that would both educate the public but also put pressure on the industry. So pigs being gassed to death, their last terrifying moments of life and the awful abuse the workers put these pigs through up until that moment that they were killed. And this footage has been shown in Australian news channels. It's really blown up. Lawyers are pushing for investigations into cruelty. And now Australian food group, the owner of one of the slaughterhouses, has stated they have shut down the facility. So Australian regulations dictate that the slaughterhouses um, need to have CCTV cameras installed in their gas chambers, which this one did not. Um, and this was proven to the regulator PrimeSafe through the footage shot by Farm Transparency Project. So instead of installing the cameras, the company just decided to just, to just shut the whole place down. So to quote Farm Transparency Project, one down, two to go. All this to say, I find it quite inspirational to see people who know what they're good at. They have a craft and they use it to better the world. We often think of effective activism as being protests and disruptions and in your face actions and all those certainly have their place and they have their own abilities to make change. But it's also the person who knows how to use a camera, who can sneak into a facility after hours and can sit in one spot for 10 hours and capture some intense footage that will rattle the cages. It's the small team of people that you will probably never hear about. You'll never know their names, but they know how to do the research in the slaughterhouses and figure out the technology uh, to hide cameras. They know how to craft a press release and control the narrative of a story. They know what is needed um, to capture the hearts of an, of an individual, but also squeeze with enough pressure 
in the right spots to shut down companies. It's this sweet spot, recognizing our talents and their importance, even if they may seem trivial to you, uh, knowing what it takes to change hearts and minds, and being able to pressure companies to get them to do what you want. It's this combination that I think ultimately sets us up to be able to make the most change in the shortest amount of time. And I think Farm Transparency Project is a great example of that. So think of this as a reminder. Figure out what you're good at. Surround yourself with people that have complementary skill sets. Learn how to be a good storyteller and research where you have to squeeze to cripple companies. And of course, keep fighting.